Hey what's up everybody it's your boy Ryan Trunky back at again with a new video so today I'm gonna do what if Deku had I can angel part 7 so let's get started Yeah Hold up hold up Get right with you I'm gonna get right with you Bad bitches fuck up they dismiss it Bang Bang really hit her take no pictures Middle finger up for the system Small summary after USJ this was during the time that UA was going to be closed for two weeks and Izuku and Momo have told everyone about their relationship now that the secret was out and the school would be closed for two weeks due to the USJ incident Izuku told his classmate that he would host a training camp for two weeks and everyone was welcome the, the two who didn't want to join were Todoroki and Bakugo as Izuko volunteered to pick uh, everyone up from their homes the, they would need two pro heroes to supervise the training camp Lucky All Might and volunteered and Tinia Lida brother was able to join flashback to the Lida's household brought to you by me drinking tea What the fuck I'm doing, bro? So, Tinia uh, Lida said, Hey, big brother, do you think you can do me a favor? Uh, Tensei Lida said, Sure, Tinia, uh, what is up? Do you think you could be volunteer for training camp my friend is holding at his home? Tensei said, Sure, I'll be glad to help what other pro is going to volunteer. Tinia said, All might, and you, that's it. Tinia said, What? All Might? How did you friend convince All Might to supervise uh, this training camp? Tenia said, All Might and my friend Midoriya are old acquaintances. End of the flashback. As Izuku picked up all of uh, his classmates who will attend this training camp and those who will attend are Dinki Kaminari, Kirishima, Ijiroma, Mashiro Ojiro, uh, Tokayami Ochako, Kyoka, uh, Shido to you uh, these students are attending like the training camp as Izuku had finished picking up uh, the attended students everyone was shocked to see Izuku and Momo's home the leader's brother and all might were at least arrived there was a buzz at uh, the gate like water gated waterfall entrance all must said Hello, uh, this is All Might, along with me are Lida siblings. Is this the residence of Izuku Mizdoria? Izuku said, uh, Hey All Might, yeah, let me bust you guys in. As the waterfall stopped and All Might and the Lida siblings made their way to the top of the driveway, they too was abs astonished to see uh, the home of Izuku and Momo but right then and there Izuku said welcome friends and pro heroes who will be su supervising this camp before we begin let's get settled in guys you follow me and the girls follows Momo Izuku's group Kirishima said whoa Izuku how the hell can you afford to live here Izuku said well this home was a gift from my uh, in-laws everyone what Momo's fa family is loaded Izuku said yeah because her father works hard to build his Im enterprise from the ground up and my father is employee at his company so uh, as a wedding gift they give us this house everyone when was the wedding Izuku said well we haven't had the wedding ceremony but we signed the marriage re registration form we're waiting for a good opportunity to appear so we can have a ceremony Kirishima said you are such a man Midoriya Izuku then replied thanks I'll let you all know when the ceremony is and you all will be invited well this is where we will all be staying Izuku said and pointed to how two double doors and as he opened it it's all the guys were in shock 
It was a man cave that every guy dreamed of. Everyone were there uh, was a guitar and bass guitar on the wall. In the another section of the man cave was home and theater system. All the guys were astonished that Izuku had uh, this massive man cave. Is uh, as Izuku showed them to rooms they will be staying in and he said all the rooms like look like so don't worry about someone getting better room everyone saw uh, the rooms they would stay in they were excited uh, to start the training camp at the same time the girls grew Momo escorted the girls who were in shock of beautiful home she had Ochako. Ochako said how did you get this beautiful home Momo? Momo said this was a gift from my parents after Izuku and I signed the marriage document all the girls what when and how did you get married and Momo said well he caught my attention when I saw him at the like Dagoba beach cleaning and he was trying to control his dark side and his determination attracted me then my father arranged a marriage from me with uh, the son of his uh, co-worker I felt heartbroken thinking I might never go, uh, get a chance to speak to Izuku then I found out my arranged marriage was with Izuku all the girls said oh that's sweet momo as all the girls said in unison about bots then ashido spoke so ashido said so how far have you to garden momo began to blush as she rem remembered the event at the beach when they were going to get busy but they were interrupted by all might uh, they he scolded them for engaging in incident acts in public ashido said i see you're turning red uh, momo you better spill the tea and the beans or we will ask izuku himself as momo began to spill the juicy details about what happened on the beach all the girls faces were bright red and they all got embarrassed but as they arrived at home a uh, room she opened the door and the girls saw uh, as the girls saw uh, this beautiful room they were all surprised to see that had looked like palace momo said uh, let's get settled in and then tomorrow we can officially begin to training camp as both the group came together again izuku said tomorrow begin the first day of the training let's enjoy the rest of this day and so as midoriya said this he has started putting on his apron and took a tray of raw meat and in cooked chicken outside everyone but momo was confused momo everyone please step outside to the ba backyard where we will enjoy the rest of the day as everyone stepped outside the backyard was uh, decorated like something out of dream house catalog izuku was near the grill and he was seasoning the food so that he would it will be ready to go on the grill and this left everyone except momo shocked uh, that izuku was going to cook and everyone was watching the skill and mastery uh, he had with cooking izuku said hey if any of you want like if any one of you want to go to swimming before the food ready please enjoy the pool to your heart's content as everyone turned they their head the opposite direction they saw this amazing pool and they all ran toward uh, toward it all might and tinsa Lida stayed behind izuku said uh, you too can enjoy yourselves and let me handle the food preparation you are both my guests all might said thank you young midoriya i'll take you up on your offer tinsa uh, tinsa Lida said excuse me i haven't had the chance to introduce myself. I'm Tinsali Datinia, 
older brother Izuku said it's pleasure to meet you Lida-san Tensei said please just call me Tensei and I'd like to thank you for teaching Lida to relax a bit and enjoy himself I'm glad he stopped acting like a robot as Izuku and Tinya continue to talk they became, became friends and so Tensei left to enjoy what Izuku home offered and Izuku continued to cook while all the girls started uh, stared at him uh, from the pool side and the guys were jealous but respected Izuku for saying humble about what he has was giving Izuku said all right guys food is ready now get over here before it gets cold everyone rushed to the grill to get some food as they took a bit uh, bite out of the food it was well seasoned and cooked well no pink in the middle the whole camp had witnessed the delicious food that momo gets to enjoy on daily basis the girl grew more and more jealous guys you know what will happen now huh just guess you can't okay time skip to the evening brought to you by me sipping tea bitch <laughs> Midori had uh, planned a special surprise for his guest. Momo was in not on it, so everyone was well relaxed. Sitting around the fire pit, he called for everyone. Izuku, hey everyone, gather around, please. Everyone, what's going on? Is everything okay? Izuku said, yeah, everything is fine. It's just that I have to, uh, a right to warn you all. Kirishima said, what are you talking about, Midoriya? Ashido said, yeah, what do you mean by warn us? As everyone was confused, just as Izuku planned, nobody suspected what was going to happen next. Izuku, well, I'm going to tell you all the first experience I went through the first night. More uh, like Momo and I moved in the house. Izuku was handed one of his electric guitars from the man cave uh, courtesy of his wife Momo. As Izuku opened its case, um, it began to shine. Izuku uh, said, I'll tell you this tale through the song. As Izuku began to play, everyone around the fire pit had gotten chills running down their spine. Suddenly, the trees began to rustle, everyone trying to be cautious. They began hearing a second guitar and saw no one else as more instruments were being heard. The As the music played faster, everyone was freaking out inside Midoriya's thoughts. God, everyone is freaked out and don't suspect a thing. All might seem to be close to figure out what's happening. Back to the story now. Izuku then used his teleportation to move into an area where sound was coming from. There appeared a stage with multiple Izukus. His clones he can, produ he can produce and they helped him to set this little show up after the song ended izuku spoke and said i hope you enjoy the little show this is how i plan to end the night after the two weeks training camp everyone was hyped up and now more excited to begin the training warning if you're a little kid like under 18 age or still a virgin please don't watch warning Mature content ahead, so yeah. The following morning everyone woke up uh, early so that they could spend the entire day training and so Izuku had prepared multiple clones to assist his friend to approve his their quirk. Izuku said, Kirishima, have you thought a way to create a perfect defense with your quirk while in combat? Uh, Kirishima said, I'm not fo following, can you explain? Izuku said, what I mean is that can you um, like manipulate hardening of your body? For example, can you make spikes on your body to create an like offensive defensive attack? Kirishima said, I can't do that with my hands, but I've never thought about it. That's deeply before. Izuku said, uh, picture a uh, like porcupine and... Armadillo creates spikes like 
porcupine on your body then roll like an armadillo now you have deadly combo izuku said no kirishima i know your quirk has drawbacks that once you pass a certain like voltage your brain gets fried Kir K kaminari said yeah i've been trying to find a way to counter to counter it but no luck izuku said have you tried like padding like Leaning your hero outfits and your regular clothes with rubber so you can use your power without having a weakness to your own quirk, Kaminari said. I never gave it thought to counter the discharge. That a cure after I really like release max voltage, Izuku said. Can you manipulate like your electricity? What I mean is make weapons and like with your lining. Kaminari said, no, I can't do that, I know I can control black and white electricity. As Izuku created two steams of lightning, he fused them together and manipulated into a whip. Kaminari was amazed that Izuku could create with electricity all the all that Izuku was doing by holding uh, this training camp is helping his friends to be able to protect themselves what Izuku feared was the friend were to lose their life but everyone understood that becoming a hero meant death would be around the corner and that it was a part of the job description everyone who wants to be a hero has accepted the reality that some might not return after Izuku finished helping Kaminari he left a hand uh, uh, on his shoulder all might said young Midoriya would you like to spar Izuku are you sure so are we going like 50% power all might said yeah, I'm sure and yeah 50% power be ready young Midoriya as everyone stopped their training to watch Izuku vs All Might, the girls were confused to see the commotion. As they got closer, they saw All Might and Izuku ready to fight. They went up the rest of the group and asked what caused this happen. Kirishima explained the situation and within a few seconds bursts of the air were created and punching power of All Might and Izuku rattled uh, the ground. As Izuku jumped back, he created six clones and um, had a small advantage against All Might. And without hesitation, All Might took down all of them and pinned Izuku to the ground. Izuku showed a light smirk as he kicked all might of the of that caused him to gasp for air and all, once all might cough uh, his breath he rushed izuku and hit him directly in the solar plexus uh, both izuku and all might fall to the floor and start laughing knowing it was just a friendly match but everyone was confused as to why they were laughing kaminari said hey midoriya why are you and All Might laughing like two crazy people? Izuku and All Might, they are laughing a lot. As the two kept laughing, everyone was starting to get creepy feeling, but the left side uh, laughing side uh, like suddenly stopped and they turned to Izuku who cleared his throat. Izuku said, sorry guys, it's just that me and All Might haven't sparred like that in a long time. Everyone began to question the fact that Izuku said a long time. All Might cleared his throat and he was about to speak. All Might said, young Midoriya, I think it's bad to tell them how we know each other. Izuku said, well, to be honest, All Might was the one who taught me uh, to master my dark side and well, we became good friends after during the process of our training. Everyone was shocked to know that n the number one hero was good friends with Midoriya and so everyone had worked hard for the second day. And without them noticing how late it had gotten, everyone grabbed a shower and prepared for dinner. Dinner. As Izuku had finished uh, taking a shower first, he quickly prepared dinner. And as everyone was dressed and ready for like to eat, there was a like ringing at the entrance of Midoriya's home. As Izuku shuffled, checked to see who was it. It was none of the others. Hisashi and Inko. Hisashi said. Hey son, 
How are you doing? I hope everything everything like is well. Inko said, Hey baby, how is my precious baby doing? In the background you could hear the sneakers of Izuku's friend after they heard that his mother called him. He saw she said, Who in your home right now son Izuku I'm actually holding training camp since the school got closed for two weeks Hisashi said well if that's how things are your mother and I will visit you in another time uh, Izuku said wait uh, since you guys are already here just drive up I doubt my friends would have any problem everyone was cool with his parents uh, like swinging by for a visit since he left home and got married then began to uh, Kirishima waterworks Kirishima said you are truly man still showing love to your parents even after you moved out after the few seconds the doorbell rang and Momo was the one who answered after she opened the door she was talk uh, like tackled by Inko and was almost suffocated by her mother-in-law Momo said mom uh, I can't breathe, please let me go. Inko said, I I'm sorry, dear, but I feel like forever since we seen each other. As Inko let uh, Momo go, she saw all the pretty girls who were in Izuku's home, and she was nervous, but Izuku's father blurred it out. Hisashi said, Oh my god, my son has started a harem. That's my, my boy. As Izuku was t uh, taking a sip of water, the spat uh, is like spat it out. After he heard his father say that, but in process of uh, like spitting the water out, he hit all much and tense. Lida after Izuku apologized like a madman. But a few seconds later, he saw she spoke. He saw she said, "How on earth did you get all my to?" step on your home izuku well dad while you were still working overseas all might was the one who taught me uh, how to control the darkness of my he is my teacher basically as uh, hisashi knelt down uh, to the ground he said all oh, my thank you for looking after my son i'm useless father who doesn't have to any right to be called father as hisashi said this all might said don't don't now down to me like you done a great job raising this promising hero he, this filled Hisashi with joy and tears of happiness uh, overflowed. Hisashi, Hisashi said, Oh, Uziko, I forgot the reason I came here. I was to give you this. As Hisashi stepped outside to get uh, the kids for his son, he walked out inside with 24 packs of beer. Hisashi saying, Let's drink. Everyone in the room was shocked and dinner wasn't served yet so it was perfect time to drink a beer as Midoriya cracked one cold one with his dad everyone was still out of shock until he saw she said everyone grab one like let's enjoy the night all might wasn't against the young heroes in training to drink alcohol as long as everyone was being like supervised this job fell upon Inko who didn't like to drink al alcohol but Izuku saw Momo passed out and he wa he walked over to hear the picked her up bridal style and tackled her in bed making sure she was okay and this how the nights end times keep back to the school again but to you by me doing ASMR <laughs> Bruh, I really need to stop, like, what the fuck? So, uh, the two weeks school hell was closed had ended and time for classes to resume. The, those who attended Izuku training camp grew a lot stronger than they were. The class bell rang and they sat down and shut their mouth before the teacher arrived. Aizawa said, Wow, you guys got quite before I worked in a good job, but now I have some important news that could impact all your lives. So guys, I'm gonna wrap it up like right here. I'm sorry I couldn't upload for the last two days. Basically, I was working and busy. I didn't have like time for to upload but yeah I'm back so yeah also don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and catch you